Say good morning. Good morning, cheeky people. Hey. Hey. Was he staring at the... <laughs> Thank you, baby. It tastes really good. I love my Vanna with my coffee and my Scotty. Really Abraham calls it coffee bread and he said he wants some. You want some, Bobby? Yeah. Say good morning. Good morning, guys. Let's see if we get a smile. Hey. Hi, Bert. Hi. Hey, Hi. What do you want for breakfast? Egg sandwich for coffee bread. <laughs> You're not gonna have coffee bread. Yes, coffee. It's eight like coffee. You want some coffee too? Yeah. Hey, coffee. <laughs> no. Hi there. Na 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 Hi there. Hi. Can you crack it in here? Okay. That's good. Crack it softly. No, 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 you didn't do it. You didn't do it, Harvey. Okay. A little more. A little more. Mm -hmm. Softly, softly, softly. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, I cracked the yolk. Soft, slowly, slowly. Go ahead. Crack the yolk. What do you got? No, no, no. Just a pinch. Mm -hmm. Sprinkle it all over. Tell you got to sprinkle it all over. Just a little bit. No, Bobby, Bobby, all over. All over, sprinkle it all. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> that's gonna be a spicy egg. Stop, that's it. Yeah. And then, and then flip. And no, no flipping. Do I cut it? Mm, yes, please. Good. <laughs> Finally, I am sitting down <laughs> and having my coffee. Mm. I made um, a cafe con leche. Sometimes I switch it up on what I have like to drink in the morning. And then I just made myself an egg sandwich as well, so. Good morning, y'all. Vlogmas day one. I am. I attempted what? Okay, Bobby, put it in the garbage. Oh, there's still banana left? I did Vlogmas a couple years ago, back in 2018. Um, and I did miss some uploads. There was a lot going on that time of year. I'm gonna try it again. <laughs> try to see if I can. Uh, do 25 days of uploads throughout the month of December. Poppy. Poppy. Nothing. What are you doing, sir? I want to be a toy. You want to get off the tablet now? No? <laughs> so Elizabeth is on her lunch break. What? Yeah. Did you wash the tomato? Elizabeth is on her lunch break now. Abraham is chilling out on the tablet. We have to monitor screen time with him, otherwise he'll literally be on the tablet all day. <clears throat> the baby is in swing, getting ready to take his first nap. He takes his first nap every day, almost every day in the swing. I'm just finishing up my coffee. So I'm probably gonna make some brownies in a little bit. Um, they're like Oreo cheesecake brownies. And I cannot wait to make those. It's funny, I know what I'm gonna make for dessert before I know what I'm gonna make for dinner. <laughs> but that's okay. Someone's fussing a little bit, huh? What happened, mister? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> yeah. Oh, what happened? Huh? Your shirt says always hungry. Are you hungry? 
What? So Elizabeth's still in school right now. Jose went back to sleep for a little bit. A little bit ago. No, 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 no. The baby just woke up from his nap. And then probably in a little bit, I have to head out. I have to go pick up something from Ulta that I ordered. Um, I don't really buy, I don't buy makeup like that anymore. Um, I have quite the collection already, so. I've really been enjoying using my my collection, but I did order um, the Maracuja tinted, the Tarte Maracuja tinted moisturizer, and I only got that because it was on sale for Black Friday, and I had points, so by the time with the sale, and by the time I added my points, I only paid five bucks for it, so um, I thought that was a pretty good deal, and it has, it's something that I have been eyeing because I don't really wear full coverage um, face products so I have a couple for when I'm you know breaking out and stuff like that but the majority of my face products are you know light to medium coverage so God bless you puppy so I had been wanting that for a while so I have to go pick that up I did do um, a, a curbside pickup order so I'm gonna go pick that up in a little bit and then I do have to get a couple of things um, from the store just like basic you know milk, bread, things like that um, so I'll probably bring you guys along when I do that in a little bit. Big sister has made her appearance and is feeding her chunky baby bro. Uh -huh, look at you going like this. I can't wait to eat the delicious sandwich you're making. Chef, it's time to get cooking. So I am heading to Ulta right now. Um, like I mentioned earlier, I don't really... Uh, <laughs> I don't really buy makeup anymore. Um, I know from 2018 into 2019, I did make a VIB Rouge from Sephora, um, but <laughs> there's no way that that's happening again this year. I don't even think I made VIB, to be honest with you. And that's just because I've had the realization that Man, one person does not need all that makeup. <laughs> makeup became a hobby for me. And then after my miscarriage a couple years ago, I was using shopping for makeup as, you know, a coping mechanism. Um, so fast forward to present day and I just, I don't, you know, I've just realized that I just, I don't need <laughs> I don't need thousands of dollars worth of makeup like I'm at a point in my life that if I want to spend that amount of money I want to spend it on something greater than makeup you know it's just like through all this pandemic stuff and being at home and not really going out much I've developed like an even greater love for my kitchen because to be honest, I've always loved cooking. I've always loved being in my kitchen. I mean, ask anybody. Like, cooking is definitely, you know, very, very near and dear to me. But I had the mentality of, oh, if we're able to eat out, let's just eat out, you know? So it came to one point that we were eating out more than we were eating at home. Financially wise, I mean, if you have it, why not, you know? But man, it's like, what you pour into a restaurant, the amount of groceries that you can get instead, and then the types of meals that you can make. Like, I have just been going in on my kitchen, and it's been really great. Like, I'm truly, truly thankful for how God has gifted my hands because the way that I cook now is just, I, I mean, I even blow myself away. Oh, man, you got that? Oh. <laughs> I'm like a garbage can, man. So now I'm going to show you guys how to make the Oreo cheesecake brownies that I was telling you. Starting out, all you're going to need is a box of brownies. I have the Ghirardelli ones. These right here. To me, these are the best box brownies. You could make your brownie batter from scratch, only... I'm not doing that <laughs> um, and then I'll get into the rest of the ingredients that you're gonna need um, to make this hopefully super delicious dessert all right so like I said I just have this uh, 
brownie mix. You're going to want to make the brownie batter according to the box directions. And then we're going to go ahead and get into the cheesecake mixture now. So I'm going to put three 8 ounce blocks of cream cheese. These have been uh, brought to room temperature so they're nice and soft. And then to this I'm going to add three quarters of a cup of sugar. And then we're just going to cream this together. So once it's nice and fluffy, and that's why I do recommend letting your cream cheese soften overnight because it's just so much easier to work with. You're just going to add a pinch of salt and then we're going to add in three eggs as well as half a teaspoon of vanilla. And then we're going to beat that until everything is mixed well together. Where? Oh, okay. So you want to make sure you scrape down the sides. And then we'll let it run through again one more time just so everything is all incorporated. Alright, so now this is all done. And then I just have like a big size Ziploc bag that I put 15 Oreos in and I crush them up. And then I'm just going to fold them into the batter. So I'm just going to fold the Oreos in. Alright, look at that. So good. Alright, so I just have a 9 by 13 pan that I lined with parchment paper and I did spray the parchment paper with nonstick cooking spray. So now I have the brownie batter here and then we're gonna put the Oreos on top. So then I'm gonna take our Oreo cheesecake batter and place this on top. And then you want to just spread everything out evenly from corner to corner. So now you want to bake this at a 350 degree oven for about 35 to 40 minutes um, until the edges are set up and the cheesecake mixture is slightly jiggly in the center. So remember when putting this in the oven that cooking times do vary. So, you know, just keep an eye on it around the 30 to 35 mark and, um, you know, Check it for yourself and just make sure that the edges, you want the edges to be um, done and then the center is going to be like still slightly jiggly. <laughs> Alright you guys, so I just took it out. Um, you could see that the edges are pretty firm. When I move the pan, it still slightly jiggles in the center. So that's exactly what you want. You want to let this cool completely before you try to take it out because if you try to take it out now, then it's just going to melt and fall apart. So let this cool completely. I'd give it a couple hours or so before you cut into it. Sausage. Elevated sausage dinner. How's it, puppy? Good. Hey, look at the bread, guys. Show this me. Croissant. It's a croissant. So I just made something real simple. I just got done saying that I didn't feel like cooking dinner today. So I just made some sausage with potatoes, mm. some veggies, and some bread. Very easy. The broccoli is hey. vinegary. Yeah, because I put some dressing on it. Mm. AJ is at a point now that he wants to sit at the table with us. And eat our hey. food. <laughs> hey, guys. Food is delicious. Elizabeth and agrees. I get, I get, and I'm very picky, so. Um, and I get... <laughs> so look how many... Bobby. Food's, yes. food's good, babe. Last time he did that to me. It's delicious. I had two plates. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. I had two servings too. All right, so once you let it cool off, then it's um, perfectly able to be cut into. So I just cut a slice and I just did some chocolate drizzle action around the plate just for presentation. And here is what it looks like. Oreo cheesecake brownie. 
they, cheesecake don't have cheesecake factory has nothing on this. That looks like restaurant, right? Yeah, it better. looks like restaurant. It really does. Mm. It's good. Where's my glass of milk? <laughs> For real? Shoo, baby. Like a shoe. Delicious. Shoe. Is it good? Smell a shoe. Oh, shoe. oh yeah, baby. <laughs> Give us life. I know, I'm gonna get you guys now. Hi, I'm gonna eat my food. How's your dinner? Do you have chocolate? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, here, wipe his arm, wipe his arm. <laughs> How many thumbs up? Ten thumbs up? How's the cheeks? Mmm, so Alright, y'all, we're getting ready to wind down now for the night. The kids are getting ready for bed. And it's just gonna be me and the little meatball. Um, so I really hope that you enjoyed today's vlog. And if you give the dessert recipe a try, let me know. Let me know how you like it. But yeah, I'm gonna end the vlog here. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. God bless y'all today and always. And we'll see you tomorrow for day two of Vlogmas. Bye.